Hi there, this is Save with Crypto. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do my usual stuff with the Myr Dex or whatever it's called now. What's it called? It's called the X Exchange. Yeah, Sex Exchange. That's it. Uh, okay, so I'm going to uh, do that in a moment. But first of all, I just want to talk about the real reason why eGold went up a bit in value the last couple of days. In fact, it's been quite quite substantial actually. I mean, percentage wise, it's gone up. Um, you know, from the bottom. Uh, it's gone up like 60%, which is pretty cool, really, isn't it? Um, now, the real reason is because I drew this double bottom here back <laughs> back in the summer, uh, and it seems to be following it almost anyway, not quite. I mean, in the past, I used to get my, uh, uh, I think she was about 11 at the time, my, what, my youngest daughter, I used to get her to draw pictures of unicorns uh, on my trading view charts. And what used to happen was generally the price of Bitcoin would go straight through the through the horn part of the unicorn. And it was it was a sound trading strategy. It really was. But <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm, I, I'm a scared to draw another unicorn, actually, because they, they did seem to be strangely attractive. Like what would happen? The price would go towards the hooves, first of all, and then kind of go up through the neck and then out the top of the head through the horn. It was like... Freaky, really freaky. Anyway, um, right, of course, this wasn't the reason uh, why eGold went up, but I like to think it is because, uh, you know, it was a double bottom. And this is on the daily time frames. This is going back to this big drop we had, which was, um, well, not forever, really. <laughs> but uh, the big drop kind of April this year, maybe January, you know, because don't forget, eGold was was <laughs> was getting on for like $600. It was uh, astonishing when they first launched the decks and then it's just uh, been a bit grim ever since now consequently the price of e-gold has gone up and uh, you know guess what the price of mex has gone up a little bit where has it gone now uh, this one here the price of mex is up five percent um what else price of utk is up five and a half percent and if you look at the other ones to do with the project uh zoid pays up a little bit not much but i think zoid pay did go up quite a bit yesterday um and what else we got i think rides here somewhere yeah ride is up oh, it's only a little bit okay but i think ride went up yesterday as well so it's all good really now uh, a lot of people have been saying oh this is because of the 10 cent um cloud thingy in china or whatever it is I actually don't think it is that. I think what it is, is, hang on. Yeah, you see, I think it's to do with this. This was a news article that came out two days ago saying the top three stable coins by market valuation are now available on Multiverse X, USDT and BUSD. So this is talking about the bridge that used to be the Ad Astra portal, I think it is. Uh, but what it means now is that you can have BUSD, that's the Binance stable coin that's all creating all the FUD at the moment, uh, you'd be able to have that on Multiverse X, which is a, a DEX. So if you've got a problem with like having BUSD on Binance or anything like that, you can just put it on here. And then, you know, you haven't got anyone to answer to, have you? You've got no, nobody's going to say if you can move it or not withdraw it or anything. It can just go on your, uh, on your well, what is now the MyArt app, which will be the X portal wallet thingy. Um, so I think that's the reason. I think that's the reason the price went up. Anyway, I don't really care why it went up, but it went up anyway. So, and it's up a reasonable amount. You know, it's up, uh, yeah, as I say, about 60%. So it's currently at 52 bucks. And, uh, you know, if you were buying here down at 32, well done, you know. I did buy a little bit down there, but not much. And then I spent it all on uh, NFTs. So... <laughs> So that was a decision I made, but I, I don't know, that might that might turn out to be a good decision, might turn out to be a bad decision, I really don't know. Anyway, that's what I did. So uh, let's go and have a look what's happening over on the actual DEX itself. So uh, I haven't done the claims yet this week, so um, I mean generally it's looking okay. I mean this was down to less than 40 grand um, last week, so it's 43 now, which is a lot better, isn't it? So... What I want to do this time is just have a quick look at the farms because I'm never quite sure exactly what happens. So you see, I've got this Mex E Gold one here. So this is the big one, forty-two thousand dollars worth of stuff. So I've got Mex earned two hundred six, then X Mex earned here, which is sixty bucks. So that's showing here a, a, 
earned the X max of 256. Okay, so I just wanted to have them figures in mind for when I do the do the claim. And then there's like one dollar thirty six of ash there. Um, yeah, let's do a claim anyway and see what happens. So I'm going to get two hundred forty three bucks worth of X max here. Uh, negligible amounts of everything else. And then it's in this passive rewards. I'm going to get twenty four bucks worth there. A little bit of wrapped tea gold. And then bugger all of everything else, really. So, yeah, let's just uh, let's do that anyway. <laughs> and of course, it disconnects because it's a, it's still a piece of shit, isn't it? Like, I really hope they get this sorted when they do the new X portal mobile wallet thing. I will tell you what. Someone did the other day. They said if you connect with your phone, not using your Wi-Fi, but using your data then it doesn't disconnect. So I'm going to try that. Okay. And I think they said they could connect with the, not not the legacy one. I'm going to try that right now in front of you guys. Let's turn the Wi-Fi off. The My Art app. Get the scanny thing. Okay. And it says approve. And the little blue circle thing is just spinning around. Still waiting, it says. It says, still waiting. It seems that the current connection takes too long. Please try the legacy version instead. It's not going to bloody work, is it? Okay, let's try this. Okay, let's give up on that. And uh, let's try connecting with the legacy version. And I'll turn the Wi-Fi back on my phone. It might be because the data connection is a bit crap. I don't know. But let's have a look anyway. So export mobile wallet and then use the legacy version because that's the only one that bloody works. <laughs> <laughs> See, what I don't understand is like you can connect to like Xox now, or it's called, and uh, what's the other one? Zoid Pay. You can connect to all them things, like fine, you know, no problem at all. Anyway, let's do claim now. So that's my boosted reward. Continue. Uh, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know, it's the 28th is what we're looking at to get the new X Portal app. And I must admit, it does actually look pretty good. Because you can have like virtual cards and stuff in there. And what I'm really, really hoping is that um, they're available for like different currencies. So, you know, you can have like sort of euros on there and then pounds, English pounds, and then uh, what do you call them? Uh, dollars and stuff like that. Um, because you can with something like a like a wise card, you know, like an old transfer wise card, you can have like multiple currencies on there. And I, I think... The first card that comes along that you can do that, that's going to be amazing. That's going to be brilliant. Because at the moment, everything else seems to be mostly in euros or stuck in one currency. Like, say, the Crypto.com card. I had to get a brand new card and pay 50 quid for it uh, to get it transferred from euros to pounds, which was a bit painful. But uh, anyway, um, Crypto.com, the company that gradually gets worse and worse. <laughs> But anyway, that's another story. Right, okay, so what have I got? Um, okay, I've got something. Uh, if I go to look here. Right, so I've got a little piddly bit of e-gold there, which I think is what I had before. Um, I've got uh, some, well, I've got tenors worth of uh, quo, quo, quo whatever it is. Um, I've got nothing much else. So in my lock tokens, I should have, you know, reasonable amounts of stuff okay so, so i've got like four months worth that's going to start unlocking next century i mean uh, 2026 you know there's like october 2026 and then november december 2026 and then there'll be january 2027 which i can't actually imagine that far in the future really. it just sounds like something from the movies okay so uh what else can i do i can probably do a bit of uh, meta staking claims, maybe, uh, or not. Uh, 71 cents, no, nothing much really. UTK, $3.74, it's not really worth having, is it? Uh, let's just see if I've got any actual straight max, uh, $1.76. Yeah, and I think that's that's where the fun has gone a bit with the uh, with the decks. So there's there's not much you can do with it. You know, in the past, I used to do that thing where you know you'd get your uh, 
you get your alco max and you'd restake it in the farm and it kind of felt like you were doing something with this you just feel like you're going through the going through the motions really and then all you've got to do left is to do the update your energy but that doesn't really seem to make much difference to me i'm pretty sure it's just a dick measuring competition i think so there's that yeah i don't know what to say really that's about it really that's all i can do it's not as much fun as it used to be is it but you know the price of things is going up so that's good anyway what you can do while we're waiting uh, for the x portal is you can go over to uh, sabercrypto.org slash x portal and you'll go to this page here and uh, it's also the first link in the description of the video and this is a launch championship that you can join and uh, what happens here is you can win 400 e gold and a swag bag and then there's various other prizes after that um, and there's there's one there's like 50 prizes of uh, um, x x portal or maybe multiverse x uh, hoodies and that's what i really want i just want a hoodie really so what you need to do is go to cybercrypto.org slash x portal uh, do that and then you get your own link and then shill your own link to all your friends and uh and then you, that increases your chances of winning you see so uh it makes sense to begin with mine okay so please go and do that and while you're down there um, do give the video a like leave a comment make sure you subscribe all that good stuff and uh see you soon and above all tell your friends